Hello and welcome to day three of our adventures in Japan. Here's Jamie Joe with a little Rowlet statue waving at it and just being all adorable and such. And here I am doing the voiceover for her video today because I'm training to do the voiceover for her artwork one day. What do you think? Should I do her artwork voiceovers? It would be really funny. So we went to Ikebukuro Sunshine, which is this giant shopping center in Japan that has Pikachu sweets. It's it's literally a tiny coffee shop that is purely based around Pokemon. Look at it. The theming is adorable. There are little Pikachu footprints. There's Pikachu serving your drinks, there's Pikachu on the walls, you get the gist, there's Pikachu everywhere, including the drinks and food you get from the place. So we ordered these amazing little lattes and products from Pikachu Sweets. Jamie got this poor me latte, and I got this latte with this little Pikachu on top of it. Here they are together, they are pure bliss, and it's just such a photogenic place that whether you're a fan of Pokemon or not, it's worth the visit. Jamie's vandalising her latte, and then she's... Unvandal- wow. True artist right there. Anyway, Pikachu Sweets also has the coolest bin in the world. That is a Pokemon, and that is a bin. That is Garbodor, a rubbish Pokemon. Jamie didn't know it was a bin, so I told her to put her cup in it. And then she realized it was a bin, and this was her legit reaction to seeing the Pokemon bin. So we went off on a little adventure to the Pokemon Center Mega Tokyo. We saw Quaxley, some camping stuff. We went next door to a shop. It had some other stuff. It had Snoopy stuff. That's a Snoopy brush. And the Disney store, because you know, Japan still has Disney stores. They, they, they like having Disney stores. I'm not bitter that we lost our Disney stores. Japan's Disney stores honestly put all of our Disney stores to shame. They're, they're on a whole nother level. And this right here, this is probably going to be the next Sum Sum slash Nuimo big thing from Japan. The Urupocha chans. Jamie fell in love with this little Pluto, he's adorable, and I fell in love with these bears because they're Toy Story themed. The university bears, the alien looks so angry. So Japan's Disney store just kind of has everything from hand towels to cooking stuff. Like, can you remember the last time you went into a Disney store that had an oven? I don't. They also are currently celebrating their 30th anniversary at the Disney Store Japan, and they have a way cooler 30th logo than Paris's, which I hate to say because I love the Paris 30th logo. The other thing I really like about the Japanese Disney Stores, they're just very transparent. They'll show you everything you're getting. All products are available to see. If you're getting a blind box or blind bag, like you saw on those plastic cases, you can see them. And they love bears. They absolutely love bears. They still like Sum Sum. Sum Sum is cool. Don't get me wrong. I love Sum Sum. <laughs> Why is that was honestly an angry little lot, so we went for more of an adventure around the Disney store. Jamie found this. Mm -hmm. We should get one in the UK, we really should. And then we went to get lunch before taking a brave adventure to Mr. Donuts. Let's go see the special donut set at Mr. Donuts in Japan. Honestly, get ready because this place is so much cooler than any donut place I've ever been to. I'm not a fan of donuts, but this was phenomenal. Regards to Pokemon. So here Jamie is looking at this cream puff style donut she got and it was just, it was it was on a whole nother level and then we brought it back to our hotel to show you guys. We ordered this box set, this box set came with two glasses, we thought it would come with one and it came in this prepared little box with the donuts laid out in this really adorable way, adorable packaging, the donut has a literal snowman Pikachu, it's, I just, this place was so, and the donut was phenomenal. It tasted so good. This is probably the best deal I've, we've gotten on this trip so far. This is a Mr. Donut promotion. It was, what, 1,560 yen, right? Was that about? 1,450 yen, even cheaper. What? Okay, so we thought we only got one glass, and this is the main reason we did this. We, we were doing it for the glasses, and I thought I was only gonna get one glass, and I got two. <sighs> We got one each, married couple glasses. It came with this adorable box. Like, gonna have to flat pack this and get this box back. It is so yeah. cute. Like, the little window on it. Um, we accidentally picked up this box and then they gave it to us as well. They're very kind. Very they just treat us like the confused foreigners we were. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then we got three donuts up here. That's, that's a third donut in there. Little Pokemon bag. This one. There are so many things in Tokyo that cost like thousands of yen just for like one item or like you're getting like the one cake slice for a thousand five hundred. This is like a whole present set. It's amazing. We might be getting this again because there's going to be a blanket option as well. I wonder if they give you both blankets. 
We'll find out. And it wouldn't be a Japan video if we didn't close off with a claw machine. Here Jamie is trying to win a little Anya doll from a claw machine. But what she does not know is that I also went to a claw machine, especially for her. I walked into a claw machine place and I put in 500 yen because it said that I could get six doughs for that. One out on the first one. See if I can get another one. 